Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's your TIP Daily for August 7th, 2012. Okay, so not surprisingly today was filled with iPhone 5 news and leaks and concepts and rumors and stuff, so uh, let's get started. First of all, I want to tell you guys about an awesome new iPhone 5 mock-up. Now these are coming from a website called NowhereElse.fr and they've been pumping out some really high quality concepts based on the previous leaks and schematics and stuff. And uh, these particular images are different because they don't just show the phone alone or like on a, a nice silver tail or something. Uh, they actually show you how it would look in your hand, both the black and white version. And I gotta say, they look amazing. You get a bunch of different angles and the detail on the phones is really great. But until we know anything concrete, these are probably the best images you're going to be able to find. Uh, the black in particular looks insane. Okay, moving on, we have some pretty solid evidence that Apple is looking into a 4-inch screen for the next generation iPhone, which is definitely awesome news. A 9to5Mac did some digging in the iOS simulator that's provided to every uh, developer when they sign up, and they were able to get the simulator to run in the purported next generation iPhone screen resolution of 640 by 1136. Now this would be a retina display that is no wider than the display on the current iPhones, but taller to accommodate a fifth row of icons on the home screen and a 4 inch diagonal measurement. Now 9to5Mac tested this resolution in the iOS simulator with both iOS 5.1 and the beta of iOS 6.0. Now 5.1 ran as expected with just 4 rows of icons spaced out a little bit more to fill in the extra space, but the iOS 6 software actually threw in a full 5th row of icons into the bigger screen on the virtual iPhone, which proves that Apple has at least been testing an iPhone with a bigger 4 inch screen. Okay, so now that we've talked about a few of the amazing features that the next iPhone will offer, um, how many is Apple going to sell? Well, according to Phil Schiller, quite a lot. He says that each new generation of iPhone has sold approximately equal to all previous generations combined. Uh, so if that works out with the iPhone 5 or new iPhone or iPhone 6 or whatever you want to call it, Apple should expect to sell somewhere around 170 million. That is a lot of iPhones. Now, of course, a trend like this cannot continue forever just because the numbers would get too astronomical, but the hype surrounding the next generation iPhone is definitely huge, so I don't think 170 million is out of the realm of possibility. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, before we go, I'm gonna leave you with a question of the day, and that is, do you think it's possible for Apple to sell 170 million new iPhones? Is that number uh, far out of the ballpark, or is it, you know, reasonable? Uh, you can let me know in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. As always, the links to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below, so please go check those out. And also, don't forget to check out todaysiphone.com for more news, views, and reviews.